everyone welcome to our pre-calculus lesson 28 so in this lesson we will discuss more on quadratic inequalities and we have two different types of thing for today's class one is uh, application related to quadratic function of course and another one is solving more quadratic functions so let's look at this agenda solving quadratic inequality and uh, a and b that means two types of question we will discuss here and these are application math here also two different types of uh, or two different topics we will discuss for the application math also so first one is this one x squared plus 3x uh, minus 10 is greater than 0 we have to find out where this function is greater than 0 where this function is greater than 0 here this function is greater than 0 0 here or in other words the value of this function is greater than 0 here this is the question so to uh, solve this first of all greater than 0 it means this side of the graph eh? above above the x axis this is the x line greater than 0 means above the x axis line so to understand where this graph is above x, x axis we need to find out the x intercept and to find out the x intercept let's consider this inequality this thing equals to 0 to find out the x intercept so we consider that this equals to 0 and then we try to solve it factor it by factoring this is minus 10 and minus 10 can be written as 5 and 2 5 into 2 equals to 10 5 into 2 equals to 10 so we can write plus 5x minus twice x which gives us plus 3x which gives us plus 3x so we have from the first two term we have x plus 5 from the second two term we have x minus 2 if you take minus 2 common then we get it so one solution is plus 5 minus 5 another solution is uh, plus 2 because if you have x minus 2 this 2 goes to the other side it becomes plus 2 that's why it means that we have two x intercepts one is uh, minus 5 one is plus 2 that means one is suppose one is minus 5 here plus 2 is here so our graph is something like graph is something like this something like this now you can say sir how do you know that the graph is something like this why not the graph is like this the reason is x squared x squared x squared means graph will be up opening another reason is uh, our y intercept is minus 10 so this will be the minus 10 y intercept so this is how we know that our graph is this one now which part of the graph is so this value is first of all this value is minus 5 let's let's write it here minus 5 and this value is plus 2 now the question is which part is more than 0 and we know that more than 0 is above the x-axis this is the more than 0 so that means from this plus 2 to plus infinity this is the solution that's why we said plus 2 to plus infinity and from minus 5 to minus infinity this is the more than zero part because in the quadratic function it will go forever in that direction that's why from minus infinity to minus five so we have two solutions here greater than zero for greater than zero we have two solutions one is from minus five to minus infinity and another is from two to plus infinity now suppose if this question they are, we ask you we ask like this suppose this symbol is given where it is less than zero then the solution will be from minus 5 to 2 then the solution will be from minus 5 to 2 from minus 5 to 2 is the solution then and notice another imp important thing is this is a strict inequality that means equal to sign is not given here so all of them will be first bracket all of the answer will be first bracket okay so based on this question don't get confused based on this question our answer is this one okay and if the question is this then answer will be this one which is not here okay which is not here i am just showing uh, in addition to this kind of problem if it is comes like this then what is the solution and in the next slide we have the proof or we have the graph of this function which is this and you can see this is true i mean our solution is true minus from minus 5 to 0 minus 5 comma 0 is one x intercept and 2 comma 0 is another x intercept and our solution is our solution is from here to plus infinity 
and from here to minus infinity from here to minus infinity i'm just drawing it just to show that this will this will go and this will go this line will continue going will continue going forever that's why from minus 5 to minus infinity from 2 to plus infinity and why is that because it is greater than 0 greater than 0 is this side above this is the x line above x line is greater than 0 y value what is greater than 0 here what we mean by greater than 0 y value y value is greater than 0 10 5 5 10 15 these are greater than 0 and this is greater than 0 means this whole thing is actually fx this whole thing is actually fx fx means y that means y is greater than 0 where this is their portion okay this is their portion so uh, this is another type of question which is um, this is 22 number from our book uh, of course exercise is 3.5 and for this kind of question you see this is the question 2 into 2, uh, 2x squared minus 3x is greater than minus 9 and if we try to simplify it we get to if we multiply it by 2 outside the bracket and inside the bracket we get this and this is minus 9 minus 9 goes comes to this side this becomes plus 9 equals to 0 now we if you try to find some answer find some answer for this question you will notice that uh, there is no integer solution for this question because uh, 9 into 4 equals to 36 from 36 you, you never get from 36 you never get uh, you never get this you never get this uh, sorry just 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 a while just just a second. I'm busy again after one of the student is actually knocking me to for, for, for saying something after half an hour Our, please. I mean, she will actually see this thing in the video. I think if when she knows. So, yeah. So yeah. So this when we multi, we, if we try to find some solution here, if we try to find some solution here, then we will we will. Um, see there is no solution for this question because let me show you let me show you what does it mean 4 into 9 equal to 36 so if you try to factor it you divide it by 2 you get 18 then you divide it by 2 you get 9 then you divide it by 3 you get 3 so you see 3 3 9 2 2 4 so 9 minus 4 equal to 5 see we need 6 we need minus 6 or if you take this 2 and this 2, 3 into 3 equals to 6, 3 into 2, uh, 3 into 2 equals to 6, 3 into 2 equals to 6, 6 minus 6 equals to 0, 6 plus 6 equals to 12. We are not getting 6. Our answer has to be 6. My point is if you if you try for any combination, we will never get that uh, 6, that minus 6. And the reason is, and in fact the reason is if we go for b square minus 4 c b square minus 4 is if you do this calculation you will see this will come negative this will come negative suppose b square b square means 36 b means minus 6 so b square means minus 6 whole square means 36 minus 4 ac so 4 ac 4 ac a means 4 b means 9 so 4 ac means so we have 4 into 4 into 9 which is 144 36 minus 144 equals to 108 so we get we get we get minus 108 we get minus 108 so this equals to minus 108 and we know that if discriminant if b square minus 4 s is negative that means no x intercept for this question if it is positive suppose if it is positive then we have to use the quadratic formula x equals to minus b minus b plus minus square root of that formula you know that b square minus 4 ac divided by twice a divided by twice a 
So we have, we can use this formula if this value comes uh, 0 or more than 0. That means positive number if it comes, then we can use this formula to find out x intercept. But in this question, since 108 is negative, since this value comes negative, that means it is undefined. So we will not have any x intercept. Since in this question, we do not have x intercept and you can see that this is 4x square positive. That means it is open up parabola. Okay. So our question is, where it is greater than 0, where it is greater, this function is greater where. You will notice that if you if we try to draw it, the whole function, there is no x intercept, that means whole graph is here or somewhere here. We do not know where exactly, but we know that this is above this line, above this x line. How do we know that? Because there is no x intercept. Okay, there, there is no x intercept. If there is x intercept, then the graph will come here or here, somewhere here. So we know that for sure graph is above the line. The whole graph is above the line in this case. One second, how do we know? Because of this x squared, because open up, it is open up. So either the graph can be here or down here or up here. How do we know that it is not here and down here? How do we know? The reason is there is no x intercept. That's why we know that if the graph is here, there will be at least one x intercept. If the graph is here, there will be at least two x intercept. Since there is no x intercept, then the graph must be above the line. And you will see that the graph is above the line means the entire graph is above the line. That means from the minus infinity to plus infinity, the whole graph is above the line. So we know that, so we know that this entire graph is plus infinity to minus infinity. This entire graph is plus infinity to minus infinity. That's why, that's why the solution of this function is plus infinity to minus infinity. Now, for the same question, if it is negative, Let's, let's discuss this part also. Suppose this question came negative. Of course, in that case, the solution will be different. Eh? We have to go for different calculation. In that case, this will become positive, minus minus positive. So the calculation will be different. So anyway, our uh, so the solution for this question is from minus infinity to plus infinity. Why the graph? The whole graph is above the line. So the entire solution is above the line. Entire solution is greater than zero. Okay, and test solution is greater than zero. We can do it this way also. You can send, you can send this minus nine here, two into two x square minus three x. Then bring this nine to the other side, so it will become plus nine is greater than zero. So the question is where this function is greater than zero. So we can see that the whole function is greater than zero. That's why from minus infinity to plus infinity again. So let's look at this is the last math actually from this solving part in the book. And you can see actually this is the this is the proof that our entire graph this is the exact graph correct graph of this function. The whole graph is actually above the line and the whole graph is above the x line. This is the x line the whole graph is above the x line. So we have it here. We will try to do this math in class and this is also similar kind of math. Let's say this is one number, two number or some number. We can, we will try to solve this math in the class. This is one application math, important one. Uh, so you can see a ball is thrown vertically upward with an initial velocity of 96 feet per, per second. The distance is in feet of the ball from the ground after t seconds is s of t equals to 96 t minus so this is the function some function is given here t is time t is the time this t means time and s means the distance so the first question is at what time that means find out t equal to the value of t strikes the ground strikes the ground means our height is zero in this case distance is zero okay the distance above this uh, uh, above the ground is zero. So we have to consider that this equals to zero first of all for finding a number, a number because we have to find out the t value distance is zero. So if we write s is zero, we can put s of t equals to zero. That means this equals to zero. And from here, you will get actually t equals to zero and t equals to six. How do we get? So it is suppose 96 if we take t common from here so it will be t common then 96 minus uh, 16 t equals to 0 
So t equal to 0 one answer and t equals to you see 96 divided by 16 because 96 will go to the other side 16 is in another side. So it will be 96 divided by 16. So our answer comes 6. So we have two answer one answer is t equal to 0 another answer is t equal to 6. That means when t equal to 6 second and 0 second then our height is 0. Okay. Next question is for what time t the ball is more than 128 feet above the ground. So this is the distance 128 feet that means s value is given. Okay. That's why we have written it 128 this equals to because this distance equals to 128 and then we solved it we solve we try to solve it and this is the two answer that we get uh, solve it means uh, we try to do the middle term factoring here okay see if we uh, bring this 16 t square in this side so it becomes 16 t square t squared then minus 96 t 96 t Mm. So we are bringing everything in the left side then plus 1 2 8 equals to 0 and if we if we divide this entire line by 16 we get t square so 96 we know that this is if we divide it it will become 6 so it is 60 plus 128 divided by 16 we are dividing this full line by 16 128 divided by 16 is 8 equals to 0. Now you can see this is a very simple middle term factoring math t square uh, minus uh, uh, 40 minus 2t then plus 8 then you take common you one answer will be t minus 6 and then another thing will be t uh, t minus 4 will be one thing another will be t minus 2 if you do the factoring here so one answer will be t equals to 2 and the answer will be t equals to 4 but that means between 2 and 4 second our this ball will be more than 128 feet above the ground do you know what does it mean what does it mean it means that uh, this is first of all look at this this is a negative parabola right negative negative means uh, open down parabola that means the ball is going something like this okay so 128 feet this means something like some some distance here some 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 height here suppose maybe here it is 128 128 same height okay so this entire path the ball is or whatever it is thrown and uh, this ball is actually above this 128 line 128 meter this question physically this question actually means this and this is the two second in that case this is the four second in that case okay this this is what it means that means one above 128 sec, 28 meter ab feet above 128 feet the ball is actually uh, from some specific uh, time to time it stays there uh, stays there above this above this 128 28 feet of course you will say uh, always is it 128 no maybe it is 130 maybe it is 140 maybe it is 150 and um, it can be many different value it can be many different value here but whatever it is the value is more than 128 okay so this actually this question actually physically means this of course you you will not need to draw this graph or anything but um, this is what it means okay this is what it means let's look at another problem related to this application which is revenue this kind of math actually we solved a lot of times uh, let's look at another one so here revenue function is good, given by r of p equals to minus of p square plus 1900 p first question is at what price of what price prices of p the revenue is zero so revenue is zero here that means uh, revenue zero means this part is zero so we have to consider that this equals to zero if that equals to zero how do we solve it how can we solve it if that equals to zero like just like the previous page we can take this p common from here so if we take p common then it becomes 
half of p half of p plus 1900 equals to 0 so p equals to 0 is one answer so p equals to 0 is one answer and another answer will be minus half p plus 1900 equals to 0 so p equals to you will see uh, p equals to 1900 into 2 it will be the answer which is 3800 3800 dollar because the whole math is in dollar whole math is in dollar yeah the price p is in dollar so that's why dollar sign now the second part is second part is you understand this i think so let me let me solve this part half of p equals to this will go to the other side so it will be minus 1900 then minus minus cancel out from the both side and p equals to it will be this 1900 into 2 so 1900 into 2 1900 into 2 means 3800 now for this part what value for what range of prices the revenue will exceed uh, this this value whatever it is so it is twelve hundred thousand dollar twelve hundred thousand dollar so it is twelve hundred thousand dollar so when it will happen that and uh, it means it means the just simply revenue is given this is the revenue value so see revenue revenue is this value that means we have to put this twelve hundred thousand this is twelve hundred twelve hundred then thousand thousand means three zero so twelve hundred thousand equals to this then you have to we have to solve p equals to what okay we have to solve p equals to what and we get p equals to two different value we get here one is 800 another one is 3800 yeah, uh, 300 or 3000 we can say that also and just middle term factoring you can you will you will notice that we have minus half so if we multiply whole line by uh, plus half uh, plus two if we multiply uh, just let's try to let's try to let's do it this way minus half this is so we want to remove this minus half from this whole line so if we multiply by uh, extra minus and 2 then we can remove this minus half from this whole sentence hmm. so see multiply this line by 2 so 2 into 2 to cancel out 1900 into 2 means 3800 and uh, 1200,000 into 2 means 2400,000 now there is an extra minus so multiply this full line by a minus sign it will become plus it will become minus and it will become minus the plus sign will become minus, the plus sign will become minus, and minus sign will become plus. Why we are doing this? Because we are trying to make this p square positive. Because uh, so that we can our, we can solve our math uh, just like our regular in, regular pattern in, in in our regular pattern. And when you send this whole thing in this side, so we have uh, another side equals to zero. Now how do we factor it? This is a very big math. How do we factor it? You see although it's a huge math but um, there is some relationship this is 3800 3800 and actually 3 into 23 into 8 it gives us 24 3 into 8 it gives us 24 or another way another way to solve this math is also we can use that formula quadratic formula x equals to that minus b plus minus uh, minus b into minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 c divided by twice a that formula also will give us 800 and 300 uh, 3000 in in, uh, in our answer here 3800 from this 3800 actually another line here let me write the line between this line so that you get it get this p square minus 3000 p then minus 800 p then plus 24 Hundred thousand. Only difference in this math is the values are a little bit big, big. Okay, equals to zero. The values are a little bit big, big. But but other than that, it's not a it's not a difficult math. And you can see this three and eight. If we multiply, we get this this number. We get this number, which means that it is going to the correct direction. Now you can say, sir, how do we know that these two value will match this uh, three thousand and eight hundred? How do we know? 
we can just factor we can try to factor it and we can go for different solution and if that seems difficult then we have to use that you can you can or we can use minus b square root of b square minus 4ac four 4ac four divided by twice a suppose b square minus 4ac divided by twice a suppose if you say sir how you solve it if you do not know that 3 3 and 3800 is answer here then i will i will actually use this formula because uh, suppose this is 2400000 i do not have time to solve all the factors of this 2400000 so i will just put the value here which will give me the answer just directly answer b value is what we know that the b value a value is 1 a equal to 1 b equal to minus th this value b this value is the b and c is this value just put it here and use some calculator to find out the solution okay so from this uh, quadratic formula you will get 800 and 300000 or if you use the uh, middle term factoring then this is the middle term factoring that we have shown here we get two solution one is 800 another one is 300000 uh, 3000 which means that above so th this is the range of the value which exceeds uh, for what range of price will revenue exceed this this money the range is 800 and uh, 3000 dollar what does it mean again let me show you that what does it mean it means that you see this is an open down parabola uh, suppose the graph is like this uh, the question is uh, where it is 1200 more more than suppose our 1200000 is here okay suppose 1200000 is here suppose then you would you draw a line because everything above this line is above above this line everything all the values is more than this value yeah, because this is that line it means that it happens here in this line 800 is here that means at x equals to 800 at x equals to 800 and 3000 at x equals to 800 and 3000 you have this two point and from this point to this point all the value all the revenue is more than this given value okay it, it physically this means actually this thing the graph is graph is like this the graph is like this yeah the graph is like this. and you can actually try to check this math in any graphing calculator also suppose desmos or a symbol of anywhere if you put this function if you put this equation you will see the graph actually not this graph you will see some some different types of graph where you will have this x intercept as 800 and uh, 3000 if you write it if you write it there okay so physically this is what it means actually if you imagine it if you try to imagine it in your real life with your real life thing if you throw something up and it comes down you will see that above some space the ball actually stays some some time yeah. this is related to the ball and if it is related to this question since the function is similar you can see you can see this is also negative this is also negative this is also negative so this is also down opening parabola down opening parabola that means above some line anywhere you can draw the line this line this line this line this line this line this line suppose they could give us this value instead of this 1200000 they could give us uh, 1100000 or 1300000 so we have to put here uh, instead of 1200000 here we have to put 1100000 or 1300000 that means the line is moving in different places and for different places our line can actually move and uh, we have to calculate uh, how many values do you have or from where to where you have uh, that 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 condition fulfilled and so this value this is actually true this can happen in our in our real life also since it is a parabola yeah, since it is a parabola and if it is down opening parabola and if it is a down opening parabola similar kind of analysis actually you can do for down opening parabola also suppose this is a down opening parabola and you can say suppose this line and you can say this is just just simple example suppose one two so you write this line and you say okay what are the values below the below two so that means this place from this point to this point this part here is below the two okay so if you know this side one suppose one two three four five etc etc then you can say from two to four this in the x line two to four the full graph is actually below the two you can say that from two this is the two 
2 to 4 this part of the graph is below below that uh, uh, y equal to 2 line y equal to 2 line so if this line is given this how do we know that this uh, this is y y below because this is the revenue revenue is r r is instead of y so y value is given here okay this is how we understand this anyway yeah, feel free to ask uh, more questions about this we will we have some practice math uh, for the class class practice math is uh, 33 and 35 number that means another math from uh, that uh, physics another math from revenue these are the two maths we will try to solve it and we will try to analyze it more uh, you will also you can also give a try to solve them which is here and thank you all thank you very much and have a wonderful day bye bye see you